All right, folks, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with you, and I'm here with my buddy Kelly Cottle. We're looking at something. Kelly has a particular love for bees, and bees like to pollinate things, and we're always looking out at growing green for our friends, the bees. These are ground nesting bees. You see these little guys? This is Colitis inequalis. And look at all of the nesting sites they've created here. Look, they're just going nuts. Now, these bees do have a stinger. Most of the, what created the little hole is a nesting site for a female. They like to do their nest on a south facing slope. Nice and warm, great place to nest. Here it is, it's, it's late February. And if you could see this close, there's just hundreds of them, thousands of them. And now mainly what these guys are that are going around are males looking for the females who are in the nests. But if you could see that, can you see it with my shadow in the way? Um, all these millions of them. Now this is, maybe you would consider this to be unsightly. It's short lived. But right now, as we're starting to see a lot of fruit trees, pear trees are blooming in full bloom. We have jonicles or daffodils are blooming you're gonna have these guys are pollinators if you have blueberry bushes if you have fruit trees or anything that needs to be pollinated this is beneficial you know and insects are harmful to the environment and insecticides are harmful to the environment the pesticides it's not recommended to spray this with an insecticide this is short-lived they're really not damaging anything. In fact, they're aerifying the soil. And this is gonna disappear. They're not here, this is short-lived, a couple of weeks, but they're pollinating and they're beneficial insects and we should leave them alone. If you do wanna di discourage them, probably be best to just spray this down with water and flood their hole out flood the nest and it'll make it just unfavorable condition but these are ground bees and they are not hurting anything this is not going to cause any damage and we don't recommend treating with an insecticide on this just kind of live with it if you want you can you know if you ran a sprinkler system have a sprinkler system or want to get rid of them i recommend just wetting this down with a hose and deterring them from being here because it's, it's really not going to hurt anything. All right, that's Tommy Cowett signing out from Growing Green. I'm glad Kelly brought that up to me. He's not going to be doing any uh, insecticide treatment here for sure. If you do want your lawn treated, you go to growinggreen.com or call 1-866-LAWN-HELP. All right, folks. Tommy Cowett. Kelly Calder signing out. All right, folks. Let's get a nice shot of this Jonathan.